from my heart to your heart, from my home to your home. Thanks guys. I'm gonna talk about our house buying journey. I'm at my old house now and one of the reasons why we're moving out of this old house is because it has a neighbor that makes that noise all the time. The new neighborhood we're moving to is gonna be a lot better. This process started years ago a decade ago. I had a five-year plan and I had a 10-year plan. This is a necklace I made with a key that my witch sister gave me. As a magic manifestation key, this can unlock any opportunity. Publishing opportunities, a new home, a picture of the door in your mind and unlock it with this key and then you have this key around your neck and this is the key that is going to unlock the door to my new house. That's a fun one. And the spell for that is in the handbook for hot witches, which is soon to be re-released because sold out, but we do have the zine version of it. Okay, so this is my grimmery, my book. I write all my things in. Here's the steps for the spell. I picked the following saints and gods and goddesses from my pantheon because I thought that they would be the best to petition for the home buying process. Lupan, the goddess Hecate, Artemis, Papa Legba, Athena, Mama Wata, Saint Catherine of Bologna, and Jesus. Each one of them has offerings that I prepped beforehand and went to the property or near the property and offered to the spirits by either planting them there or pouring them on the ground. Lupin got Chinese joss paper. I burned it and put the ashes there. Papa Legba got coffee because that's what he likes. The goddess Hecate got red wine. Mama Wata is the mermaid goddess, so she got some seawater, etc. like that. So I sewed the Grigri bag, placed leaves, soil, rocks, and a paint chip from the house that was very small in the bag. I went to the property and called the four corners, north, south, east, and west, and I planted four pennies in each corner for each of the directions, and that was my down payment to the spirits. Then I created my contract with the spirits, which is a picture I drew of the house with all the little details of the things that I want and envision, and I signed it with my name nine times on the back and then crossed my name with the word success another nine times, turning all of the C's into cent signs and the S's into dollar signs. I burned the Joss paper, also known as hell money, in the four directions and completely buried the ashes, repeating the manifestation contract by saying it out loud. Then I took the Grigory bag that I had prepped, attached it to my keychain because it will turn into the actual key to the house when I do that. I came home with some of these leaves and vines and things from near the house and started making this nest. So as I'm prepping the nest, I'm going to evoke the spirits, make an altar shrine using all four elements, earth, air, fire, and water, and then burn the brown candle all the way down. And when it is done, I will take everything from the spell and plant it at the new house. I evoke and humbly petition thee, Lupan, for your peace and protection over our new home. I evoke thee, goddess Hecate, goddess of the crossroads, put all legal workings and energy on the right path to get this perfect home, and that the neighbors are supportive and friendly and all of the city we live in is too. I evoke the Artemis with perfect aim. Shoot your bow and arrow to swiftly seal the deal with ease and grace for our mortgage contract. I evoke thee, Papa Legba, center of power and support in the home, conduit between spirit world and reality. Make manifest our home now and get us a good deal 
with our overhead for mortgage and bills. No addiction in our home. Healthy habits only. I evoke thee, Athena, goddess of wisdom, logic, and war. Please aid all legalities and overcome any obstacles easily with our home buying process. Sustain our prosperity for our business eternally. Everything in our house works perfectly. Everything is easily fixed to low cost or no cost. I evoke thee, Mama Wata, mermaid goddess. Protect our home from flooding and hurricanes. Thank you for your everlasting financial successful aid in overseas shipping, all markets, divination, healing, good luck, money in abundance, music, eternal health, and eternal beauty and youth. Our home is luxurious with plenty of room and yard, and our home is always easily affordable, centrally located nearby in a district that we like. I evoke thee, St. Catherine of Bologna, patron saint of art. Thank you for the patrons and fans of art and all who aid in the success of our home, art center, ground zero of which country, meat cake manor, eternal abundance for family and friends. And lastly, Jesus, please protect us from your followers. I'm using this green porcelain plate because it is the color of earth and grounding and porcelain is also an earthenware nest that we made on this plate and then add some of the other elements of the spell which are the brown candle a lucky penny i found on the property plus some gold chocolate coins fold Here's it towards our craft we keep folding it towards ourselves towards ourself because you're bringing the energy towards yourself until you cannot fold the contract anymore then once you have the contract all the way folded you're going to put your elements earth air fire and water so we put the contract on the plate put the nest on the plate that's the earth element and then we put the fire element with the candle we have our cup of water from before and then the Grigory bag to put in the purse to turn into the key and to connect to your keychain and then the feathers to represent the air element. So I'm burning the candle all the way down, charging the elements and also charging what's in the Grigory bag so that when you put it in your purse and connect it to your key, it can become the key to the of front door. Of your new house and then you can open the front door and walk into your new house. Here's a little video that I made while we were burning the candle all the way down. It's burning. We're making progress. Hey, we're making progress. Hey, we're making progress. It even magically burned through the rain last night when I left it out on the porch on accident. Of lack and delay now crumble away, and we walk forward into our promised land with ease and grace. If we're on day three, we give thanks for the abundance of riches that are ours by divine right that now pour in all around us and flow into our bank account under grace in perfect ways. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> Okay, so here's some footage of me sneaking into the yard after the whole spell was burned down and everything and planting the ashes and all the stuff in the yard, including the candle. I don't recommend you doing this necessarily because I don't want to get you in trouble. You can also do this near the property, like legally near the property, and it'll still work. And it did work. And this is the footage of me opening the house for the very first time. So key and uh, the goddess gave, gave us their house <laughs> thank you god <laughs> I love my house so much our fireplace is working so we can have 
cute little Christmas parties and with the family and I love my kitchen. It's like all new everything and um and this cute window that people are gonna have in my yard and everything. I'm just so happy in my house but It's been such a long path to get here. I literally want to place this shit in the air. I'm just so happy and thankful we got our house. It's been it's just exhausted. <laughs> it's hard. It's a hard process. Um but, but it's, it's for everybody. It's ground zero of which country now, which craft center for the Easy Bake Coven. Um, and uh, it's gonna be just a beautiful place of peace and a place we can rest. And uh, in, in the Feng Shui, book that I was reading, it, um, it faces the west, the front door faces the west, which is very lucky. This is going to be my bedroom. Um, this is going to be our office. Um, I'm going to paint the walls a lot more interesting color than this because this isn't really that interesting. But it'll be great. Room for my closet, all oh, room, because I have a lot of clothes. Um, this is Isabel's little dollhouse. It's got a little crystal in it. These are going to be her little shelves. There's stuff in there right now, but it's going to be her floors of her dollhouse. Fluzzy's got his man cave. And here's Fluzzy's man cave. There's a little light out here that switches. This is Fluzzy's man cave. It's not the biggest room, but I think it would be good. And. Uh, this is a room we're gonna paint like a mermaid dining room and we're gonna have a fish tank, tarot readings and crystal ball divination and practice music and I'm gonna shoot a Skillshare for like self-publishing comics and stuff. We have a lot of fun plans. So as soon as I got in, I started painting my room and because I love kind of Rococo looking granny stuff and the room that I have doesn't really have any molding or anything, I decided to just make faux molding by painting like a Trump Deloy style molding around the uh, corners of my room and it's white gold and this kind of peachy color which is really good feng shui if you're a lady for your bedroom for peaceful dreams and your love life and all kinds of stuff so my room is um peach cream and white and gold so this is the process of me painting the room. I documented that a little bit. And if you are looking to buy a home, I hope that this spell will aid you in your process as well. Of course, you have to do all the mundane human things like credit scores and saving the money and qualifying for the loan and all that, but it can't hurt to get a little bit of help from the spirits as well. When we were looking for our house, we also knew that the right house was looking for us. It was very frustrating. We had some things fall out from under us or other people snatch out homes from under us, but we did end up finding our perfect home. Best wishes for happiness, abundance, health, and wealth. This is how we got Meat Cake Manor, and now we can share it with you. I hope that these tips helped you out a little bit too. Lots of love and magic blessings. Happy, Happy New Year! New Year.